Hi, welcome back to the course. In the previous couple of videos, we have discussed about the one-to-one -one mapping with employee and department. In this video, we are going to discuss about the one-to-many mapping. We are going to take the same example employee and department. This time, and each employee belongs to a multiple department. So that will be the one-to-many mapping. So let's see how we can achieve that. So inside the employee class, Previously, we have added the department because we are working with the one to one mapping. So instead of this, we will go for the one to many mapping. So the employee does not contain any departments, but the department will contain the employees. So many departments can contain the one employee or many departments belong to a single employee. So that's why inside this department we are going to create the reference variable for the employee employee and this will be employee and we are going to use the many to one annotation so many departments can belong to a single employee so many to one and we need to add the join column annotation the column name which is employee underscore id so let's import these annotations and inside this employee.java we have removed that so now let's save that before that let's go to the mysql database and let's drop these two tables let me drop the department and the employee so I think first we need to drop the employee table, then we need to drop the department table. All right, so now we have removed these two tables. Now let's go back to this and let's actually save the file. And inside this employee controller, we do get this error. That's completely fine. Let's remove these things because we're going to write a new logic inside our post mapping. So let's save this. let's actually return the null otherwise we will get an exception inside our application still we are getting some exception let's actually see that exception no property department found for the type employee that's fine let's go to the sql let me refresh this we should get the two tables the department and employee so if i click on this and inside the employee we have a two columns id and name but inside the department we have three columns which is id name and employee id all right so now let's go to the employee request so we have created a new request which is employee request so this time we are also going to pass the list of departments so this will be list of departments so it will be a list of strings so let's import the list all right so let's save this and now inside our controller let me go to the controller inside the post mapping we're going to write a new logic so first in the previous one-to-one -one mapping the department was the child and the employee was the parent but here in this case first we need to save the employee object once we save the employee object then we're going to set the employee object to the departments so that's the whole idea so let's let's create an employee object so we will create employee new employee and we're going to pass the employee request which is e request and then we're going to make use of the employee repository to save the record e repo dot save we're going to pass the employee object this is going to return the 
employee which is having the id and after this we do get the we need to save the department so but here we are getting the list of departments so we have to create a new department objects so for that we are going to loop over the list of records e request dot get departments this this will be a, a string type inside this we are going to create the department object department d is equal to new department and for this d dot set department name that will be yes and also we are going to set the employee which is the above one so now we have set the set department name as well as the employee now we need to save this department so for that we are going to make use of the department repository trepo dot save then we are going to pass the department and finally we are going to return the employee in fact we have to return the uh, like we can return anything but as of now what we'll do is let's actually print a message return new response entity of type string record saved successfully let's set the http status to create it all right so let's save this all we need to do is we need to test our work but before that we are getting some exception let's actually first resolve that exception which is no property department name found for the type employee okay let's go to the employee okay this is nothing but the find by department name all right let's go to the repositories let's get rid of this we also get rid of this so let's save this this time we should not get any errors obviously yes now let's go to the okay inside the employee controller we have few errors let's get rid of this as well hopefully there is no errors in our application that's fine let's go to the postman let me close all these things let's go to the create employee and previously we are passing only the single department but instead of this now we are going to first of all let's go to the employee and employee request we have this department and name so the department that will be of type array so within the square brackets we're going to pass the departments let's say it and civil so now let's go ahead and send the request record has been saved successfully let's go to the mysql database first of all let's actually execute the table employee we should get the single record which is chaitra and the chaitra id is one inside the department we should get the two departments and that is mapped to the chaitra's id which is one okay so this is nothing but the one to many mapping i hope you understand about the one to one to many mapping that's all about this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video